beloved children of my heart. I infuse this place with my grace. I infuse your heart with a greater light essence of joyfulness within the spontaneity of the Holy Spirit, whereby you may always feel attached to God, blessed by the bounteous light energies of your presence, and suffused with the virtues of archangelic realms of light, which are here round about you now, for you have called forth our light, and we answer. We, the archangels and archaei, embody God's light energies as emissaries of the beloved. And through our crystal beings, the quintessences of heaven flow and you may feel more virtuous, more beloved within these light energies as you attend at the altar of God. As a priest or priestess of the sacred fire, in magnifying that light, in drawing forth those God qualities to bless life in your domain. When you arise early and simply offer your heart to God, The great beloved I am that I am feels that which is effused through your heart. And there is an anointing of your life stream by the light itself. Christic patterns descend Buddhic beingness is yours, and the mother flow wraps its light essences through your auric field to both charge you, purify you, and enable you as a sentient being to be fully present connected and one with your source. In the early morning hours, the freshness of the spirit is present and you can tap into the holy resource of pure light, dearest ones. When you use this time effectively to bathe in the eternal love fires of our realms. You see, heaven is come upon earth. It is all around you, and it is through a simple shift of consciousness that you may always 
Breathe in these light frequencies that you may bathe in these archangelic quintessences and that you may drink in the light This is your true, natural, divine food and nourishment, light. And you will come to the time in your solar evolution where less and less of that of this world will truly bring you peace and more and more of the divine world you will seek in order to abide in spirit and be who you are a God realized son daughter of the one. There is an answer to every dilemma that has beset you in this life. For many of you, a sense of not being fully appreciated or loved at some level of your emotional body still manifests. And so this day, I, Mary, come to wipe clean your emotional bodies in the cycle of the Virgin, Virgo, that you may feel again the essence of your soul, your true spirituality, that you are valued in the eyes and in the heart of God, and that the angels, your friends, know you and would work with you again and again until you have cleaned out every vestige of non-self-awareness and fully accommodated the solar radiance of your true self as a light being. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning is the work of the angels where we transform energies of darkness into light through the action of the sacred fire that descends from the altar of the Most High through our beings. And you, blessed ones, as angels in your own right, may enter into this alchemy and continually be expressive of these holy gradations sacred fire whereby you may re-enter the spirit of oneness through your belief, your knowledge, your compassion, your purity, your truth, and vision, your administration and your sense of being free to be who you are. Yes, the seven rays are yours to use and experiment with, even within the giving of this rosary of faith. For each of us comes and employs our particular 
rendition of light as those frequencies from the heart of God. And when you understand, sense, and know the specificity of what these rays truly are as God's essences, then you may enter into the co-creative work with us of bringing more of heaven to earth, of gracing these dimensional planes with the higher frequencies of the etheric worlds of light and thereby fulfill your calling in this lifetime. There is a soul walking upon the earth whose only desire and whose spiritual practice is simply to bless, to bless, to bless all. all. And through the crystal of her heart, there is a continuous stream of light energy from the great central sun that flows as she has offered her entire being in total love of God to be the instrument for this holy grace to manifest upon earth. You may take this blessed heart as your example and no matter what your outer work what involvements you have in the world of form, seeing yourself as an angel of mercy and grace, you too may bless life through a heart one with the divine. Oh, my soul continues to magnify the Lord. For my soul has merged fully with the divine and sings the song of the free ever within cosmic spheres and worlds of light. I bless you each one and place within your solar body, a tiny replica of my immaculate heart, which may be a point of emanation for you as you accept God's grace and enter into the art of continuous blessing while you live in that quiescent state of beingness and enjoy your oneness with the eternal one. Alleluia. Christ, Buddha, Mother, is risen within you this day. O blessed ones, now go forth victorious and fulfill your highest purpose this day and every day. For we are one.
want to sing in closing prayer 40.001. That Nancy composed and Boyd brought music to. I am Purity's love. God is a purity. give any violet fire specifically today or the opera pilgrimage call you can do it on your own we are sealing this session now in the name of the father the mother the son daughter and the holy spirit amen god bless you